I'm delighted to be joined today by Nobel Peace Prize winner Professor Yunus. We want to talk today about social business and your perspective on social business and have a particular focus on why the concept is also relevant for the corporate world. So thank you for being here today. Well, thank you for inviting me. What in your words is a social business? Well, the quickest way that I can describe it is a non-dividend company to solve human problems. Investor can take back the investment money out of the business over time, but uh, he or she is not interested in making any additional money out of it, no dividend for herself or himself. So that becomes a social business. Mm -hmm. uh, it is focused in on solving a human problem. Uh, unlike the conventional businesses. Yeah. Conventional businesses want to make money. That's their prime objective and everything else fits into that. Here the prime objective of this company is to solve human problems mm. in a sustainable way. What you target are mostly um, the very poor, uh, and, and particularly if you look at the developing world. And the concept implies that they pay a price for the products or services. Now, how do you reconcile the two? Why we charge fee or charge price for providing service? Because it becomes sustainable. We create an um, eye care hospital where uh, we provide cataract operation and we charge the market price. We charge $30 per cataract operation and we make money yeah. and we cross subsidize it for people who cannot uh, able to pay. So yeah. that way the whole uh, uh, eye care hospital covers all its cost uh, and sustain itself. We don't have to go around uh, raising money to keep it running. So yeah. it's a self-sustaining. Uh, to make an institution self-sustaining is a tremendous power. And if you can bring it into the uh, area of uh, uh, solving social problems, I think this will be a big addition. Along with that, you bring your creative power. Along yeah. with that, you bring technology. And all this mix makes it very powerful in there. Why should corporates want to engage into building a social business? Companies find it uh, very useful mm -hmm. to um, bring their creative side of their business into solving human problems. That will change the nature of the human problems tremendously because suddenly the, uh, the outburst of the creative power of business going in the direction of solving problems it brings a lot of a strength which never existed before. I often hear that there is also something for the business itself because there's a, a space, almost a ring fence space for innovation and learning in a different setting. That's is true. that something you, you see? We, yes, we see that a lot because something you couldn't do within your company because your eyes didn't go into that direction. Mm -hmm. Now you're here, you're, you're innovating a new business process. In doing the new business process, innovating new business, you learn something which is applicable in the broader company prospect. For example, in Danone case, we are insisting that the cup in which the yogurt will be delivered should not be a uh, plastic cup. Mm -hmm. They were saying, we always use plastic cup. I was saying, but you are always doing the money-making company. This is a social business. We should not accept plastic here. Then what it should be? I said, it should be biodegradable cups. So then they have to go around to find a way how to find this material to create biodegradable cups which fulfills all the requirement of uh, food items. And finally they found it, this is cornstarch. And they brought this and they were very excited that they made it. And then we started using this biodegradable cups. Today Danone tells me they have replaced all the plastic cups in their parent business. So what we're doing in mm -hmm. one way it impacted the other way because we're insisting because we think it's a social business there is some other consideration that you have to uh, believe in so it's it's mutually beneficial what you do in the profit making world benefits the social business what you do in the social business benefits the profit making world there is no conflict between the two yeah. there's a lot of overlap a lot of synergy it helps each other the businesses you created with uh, those corporate partners are they successful by now uh, some are, some mm -hmm. still going to the teething problem. Any business has a teething problem, particularly mm -hmm. if you're entering a completely new territory called social business. Uh, one thing is a thinking aloud what it should be. One thing is a really put it on the ground. Danone has gone through lots of uh, 
problems in the beginning to make sure the yogurt tastes right, mm -hmm. make sure that it's cheap. If you make it very expensive, whole purpose is difficult. Uh, if the prices go up of the ingredients, how to keep, make sure you still can attain the price level. Uh, point that you wanted to continue. Mm -hmm. So these are the issues that you want to do that. How to reach out to the poorest rather mm -hmm. than give it Danone yogurt for rich people. that They don't need it. Poor people need it. Mm -hmm. So how do you do that? How do you ensure that you reach out to the poor families and so on? How do you do the marketing? So this is one. But once you have done that, you have done the prototype, you have contributed to the world an enormous gift because all you have to do now is to repeat this. Yeah. every place and this problem will be solved in a very sustainable way all you do is invest the money and money comes back still it continues to run uh, so it's it's like a seed development you t developing a seed is a very long drawn process when but once you develop that seed it becomes a miracle seed okay. all you have to do is to have a big seed bed and make plantations and make big fields full of your crops. It's the impression you are almost too humble. When I visited you in uh, Bangladesh, I was impressed by the size and scale, for example, Shakti already yes, reached. Yes. Now uh, we have uh, come over one million house, households with solar home system. Mm -hmm. It took us 16 years to reach that point of uh, one million households with solar home system. But it will take only three years to reach the next million mm -hmm. because the speed is so high now. Probably the third million, when we get there, it will be less than two years to reach the next million. So that's the kind of thing. You build up the steam, build up the speed, and it goes. Where will the social business movement go? I'm giving the challenge that let's have 1% of the economy as a social business economy. So that uh, out of the whole economy that we will build, 1% uh, will be in social in the next five years. If you can do it in the next five years, 1%, that lays down the platform, ground. Once the ground is prepared, moving from 1% to 5% of the economy will not be difficult because mm -hmm. now you have ground prepared every country. Every country has 1%, every city has a 1%. Then everybody knows what social business is. Mm -hmm. And my uh, expectation is once it's done, everybody will love it. I can see that. Thank you very much, Professor Yunus. Thank It's you. really inspiring. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.